morning my name is Steph welcome back to Wild Patch Homestead today I want to just tinker in the garden a little bit I don't really know exactly what I'm gonna be doing I did notice that I have a bit of a slug and snail problem from some brassicas that over summer they didn't really over summer it's like I'd harvested it cut it off at the base to let the roots die down let it nurture the soil again but they've regrown and so now they're infested with snails which has been not terrible I guess like I've used it a bit like a trap crop so that they leave all my other things alone so I just want to do a little bit of a clean up I've got a lot of tomato plants that need to be pulled out <clears throat> they're starting to look like they've had better days uh, I've got a spinach beet that has gone to seed and I could well and truly harvest the seed and things like that so I'm just gonna tinker try and get some pathways <laughs> back it, it is a wild patch for a reason I just kind of let it go and uh, <clears throat> I get a bit busy and I just I'm not busy but like I get a bit excited with my seedlings and if I see a new seed or I'm at the markets and someone's got some cute seedlings I'll buy them and it's kind of like interplant everywhere <laughs> anyway my garden gets really well so I'm gonna do a little bit of a tidy up today I'm starting to feel a bit better so um, it's 9 30 and I've had breakfast and I've made school lunches and I'm like a human again uh, I'm gonna show you my greenhouse it's really funny how mm, obviously the time of day when I was coming out I was like it'll get morning sunshine it doesn't it really doesn't I don't know why I thought that the Sun comes up from that way and there's a huge shed there but in my brain <laughs> it's like, it'll get morning sun and it doesn't so anyway here's the greenhouse in shade I'm still hoping it'll get a lot more sun than over there and I also really like that I've put it next to the water tank because I was having to cart like buckets of water and it's just really awkward over here because we have this gum tree, which I love, but there's not much space between the fence and the tree. <clears throat> and so I was always having to squeeze through there and anyway. I was also thinking if maybe I could make like a little gardening table because the other one is way too heavy to move. And I have got um, a bathtub there ready for my worm farm for the next house. And I have a door as well that <laughs> currently a pumpkin has decided that it's gonna grow up but I thought maybe I could put the bathtub down sit the door on it and then use that as like a potting table it'll be a bit low but I mean I'm not overly tall I don't know I don't really have anything else it's such an awkward space back here I also really don't like where I've put the compost bin. First of all, it's the first thing you see when you look out the back door of the garden. Well, I do anyway. And it's really far away. It's the furthest point from the back door, which means I barely use it and I just give the chickens like everything and I'll just let them compost it down. But I don't really know where to put it. So I'm brainstorming today. I would love to get some of these trellises down. <clears throat> I feel like I'm, I'm babbling now, but, oh gosh. So, I don't even know if you can see, see the trellising systems. They're just some star pickets with a bit of wire. It was like a super quick method that we threw up when the tomatoes were getting, uh, a bit overgrown on the ground and I was worried about all the bugs eating all of them. I don't mind sharing but I don't want them to eat all of them. So we threw up these trellising systems and I think uh, they're full of tomatoes. I would like to harvest the tomatoes and start processing them. So I'll probably just whip up a quick sauce with the red ones and look up a green tomato chutney or something for the green ones I mean I could just put them in a brown paper bag and let them do their thing but let's just wait and see I feel okay at the moment but I start to feel <laughs> feel worse later on I might not 
But yeah, that's kind of the game plan. So I'll bring you along for some of my day in the garden. I just remembered I forgot to update you. So <clears throat> everything's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. These are the Romanesco broccoli that I transplanted. And look, some of them are not going to probably survive, but that's okay. I, I'll just pull that one out, actually. Most of them are looking really good. And that's going to happen with pretty much everything. Look at my iceberg. I've actually got iceberg lettuce coming up, so I'm really happy about that. The spinach never did anything but that's all right um these ones are looking really sad I actually just pulled these out the other day but I might just dump them down there so you can see I've lost about half maybe more two-thirds of that tray these are the purple broccolis even over here this one's not looking happy but then these ones look happy happy these look pretty happy. I've got a couple that are that are going, but that's the thing with seedlings. I mean, I think these are also really moist at the moment. They got watered last night, and we've had a cooler night, and I didn't close up the greenhouse, and there's no sun on it. They'll dry out, though, as soon as the sun comes out. Um, I also had a rosemary growing in the pathway in the gravel, so I potted that up bunch of borage that was growing in the pathway so I've potted that same for this lavender that one I left way too long let me look at the thing a bit more borage over here might even have some calendulas and stuff but look at this kale like isn't that incredible I just can't get over how fast it's growing so hopefully once we get the sun on this, it'll all kind of really start to take off a bit more, although they're growing at a really good pace at the moment. I'm happy with them. I'm a little concerned about these collard greens. They're not looking too leggy, but I know I should probably separate them out. But yeah, anyway, so that's my little update. And I feel like the sun's going to hit like the whole thing, whereas before, because I had the garden bit behind it, I couldn't really use these last couple of shelves. But because the sun's going to hit the whole thing, I'm hoping it'll turn out really good. But this is the spinach beet I need to tackle. It's in a pot, not that you can see the pot. But most of it's like dried out now. It just takes months, months and months and months, maybe six months, ages. So I'm going to bring out a paper bag and gather that all up today. Look at this borage straight in my pathway. It's actually blocked my path. It's really prickly. But gosh, the bees are loving it. I think I'm going to harvest it for medicinal purposes and just dehydrate it too much. But like, I've got plants coming up everywhere through the calendula. I've got more borage here. I've got borage over here. That's okay. But I will have to get this under control so I can use the path. So here is. A raw and honest slip of the garden. I have got tomatoes overgrown. I've got pumpkins everywhere. It's getting a little bit, um, a bit crazy, but it's also starting to die back a bit. So I'm just going to go through. And I know you should pick your tomatoes in the afternoon when they're really nice and sweet and the sugars have all formed throughout the heat of the day. I'm actually starting to feel okay at the moment, so I'm just trying to get it done. I'm going to let this um, basil go to seed and collect the seed. Or I might even pot it up. Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I'll collect seed and then I'll make a decision. But at the moment, I'm just going to go through, pick these tomatoes that I've got growing along this trellis and this whole area. They're like hidden in, as you can see, they're just, I didn't trellis these, I just let them go. But it's time for them to come out, even though they're still flowering a little bit. It's really getting too cold now. So that's my job today, or well, this morning. I have more to go. But yeah, already we're starting to get some in the basket. Alrighty. We're getting there. I have pulled all of the tomato plants out. I think I've left maybe two in. 
and this is the basket there's some jalapenos in there too but i've got cherry tomatoes all underneath and then just a variety of larger ones i've picked the green ones too and then yeah i just had jalapenos to pick um oh i'm like contemplating just ripping out the pumpkin vines too they're almost done like maybe I should just leave it a little bit longer I'll flip you around you can see the disaster <laughs> it is my garden it's gone from like lush and lots of variety to just a hot mess it's probably it's no longer the wild patch it is the hot mess garden but look it's it's all fun and games and it's gonna end up being stunning once all the green comes through you can see I sprinkled a bunch of um like husks like all the hulls from some mustard seeds and broccoli and they're all coming up here i can't see very well but i'll flip the camera around and show you and to me that's a really good sign that the soil is ready to be planted in so that's what we're gonna do that's why i decided today just to get everything out and get everything else replanted here are all our random seedlings that i didn't plant beautiful basket so they're just everywhere I actually had already saved the seed I wanted and this was just whatever was left in like the husk the hull I can't remember what it's called and um, I'll probably turn this through I'm not really interested in having any more uh, mustard actually that might be radish it's got an orange uh, purple tinge to it uh, anywho so that's a good sign I'll bring you up Oh, it still looks so nice and green on here, but I know <laughs> I'll bring you in closer to the disaster. Look at that. So I know this looks, you know, messy and terrible, but it's all organic matter. This is the sugarcane mulch I would have put down at the start of the season. It's all going to break down and this soil is so moist. Like I'm really happy with that. Considering this garden's like, I don't know, eight months old or something. We did it in winter and it was just lawn before. So this is my wall of now pumpkins. But I'm seriously, and I've left one tomato because it's doing... I should probably just pull it out. I don't even know. It's so hard to rip everything out. And this is my new mound of tomatoes. I just pile, I threw them actually into this corner to deal with later. They say that you shouldn't give them to chickens and that you shouldn't compost them because you'll spread like the blight. But I'm also wondering if I care because <laughs> there's so many. I don't know. I'll work it out. I'll sort something out. But anyway, this is this is the garden. At least my greenhouse looks cute over there. I still have that to sort, get the seed off of. I'm probably just going to, like, rip the seed off and, like, sprinkle it through the garden and just save a little bit to take with us for next season. Over here, I've got all of these Christmas or Madagascar lima beans, whatever you want to call them and it is smothered this would be maybe our fourth harvest i think just this season uh they are really happy underneath this gum tree my mom has them out at her place i gave her some seed and they grew great but they didn't cope during the summer whereas i think because they're underneath the gum tree they're actually managing it well i don't think they've really enjoyed having the pumpkins growing all over them normally these lima beans take over uh, but they've been very prolific so still very happy now for this garden area I'm actually going to leave these posts in the trellis system just for now just in case I'm going to try and grow some snow peas along the fence line, uh, but the dogs do eat some of the things that I put along the edge, so I might leave these up and just grow some along the trellis. 
please ignore our big rubbish pile in the background. We pulled all of our flooring up the other weekend and created a whole hot mess. Once it cools off, we'll, we'll get to burning that again. Just in case you spot it in the background, that is why it looks chaotic. Don't you love my little wombat? My husband got this made for me because I love wombats. I probably love wombats so much because they're not digging up my garden and creating potholes for me to stand in, but still. So, yesterday, uh, Bentley, my 10-year-old, he sowed some radish seeds down here and lettuce while Hudson, my 11-year-old, um, and I were potting up the borage seedlings. So I think that this um, is pretty much going to be ready to start being planted in. That's for the chickens. I, these are the... So there's aphids all over this. But they didn't eat anything else this year. Normally they smother out my cucumbers. I may as well show you around while we're at it. <laughs> it's looking... It still looks kind of nice from like this angle. Um, but it's it's really good that it's been cleared. I've got a, one bag of horse poo left. So I'm going to get that taken care of. I have got some cucumbers. I'm just waiting for them to go yellow so I can save the seed. I really liked these cucumbers. And um, holy dooly, we are getting there. I've also left the tomatillo, I should mention. There's a there's tomatillos growing through everywhere. Not None of them where I actually planted them. Uh, I'm going to leave it because it's got lanterns and it's they're filling out. I've got capsicum plants all here. My jalapenos are still going really well. I've got a handful of those in my cayenne chilies. It's just this end bit. I think once I pull out all of these pumpkins, like I'll drop the vines. I'll, I'll do the chop and drop kind of method and just feed that back into the soil and mulch it all in. I might even get a pitchfork and just gently turn it over and then just chuck a bale of hay over it. And then in the next... I usually will leave that for a few weeks. By then my seedlings will be ready to pretty much be planted out. That's my thought process. Thank you for joining me in my chaotic garden video. <laughs> oh, it can be like that sometimes, but it's really nice. I've got my feet in the dirt. My nose is starting to clear. The sun is on my face. I've got the birds, the willy wagtails and stuff all around and it's actually really nice. I'm really enjoying being out here today and getting this done. It makes me feel productive and happy to tick another job off the list. Um, and it, it gives the garden a little bit of rest time. I think that's so important. I can get this horse manure down. I can just let it rest and breathe uh, before I replant and start drawing all those nutrients out of it again. Um, I'll probably sprinkle a bit of uh, blood and bone as well down. I do find that the garden does need that as well. So I think I'm going to leave it there. But if anything else exciting pops up, I'm going to throw it on my Instagram. Um, but again, thank you. And I will see you guys again soon. Have a great day. Bye.